And now, a highlight from Animal Radio on iHeartRadio. Your son's a mailman, right? He is. He's a mailman down in Ventura County, actually in Oxnard, California. He's been doing it for, gosh, about 13 years now. Holy moly. And yeah. he gets a lot of exercise walking around all the time. All day long. Does he ever talk about the dogs that he runs in or any animals that he runs into? He never tells me about that, and I'm kind of surprised. I don't know if he's ever had any issues. Hmm. I yeah. think if he did, he would have told me. You know, we did a story on that cat that was uh, uh, taunting... <laughs> The mailman, and so they they decided to stop delivering mail there. Yeah, the guy had to go pick up his uh, mail at the post office because, you know, killer attack cat. <laughs> now you told me earlier that you two have been attacked by cats. Yeah, when I was uh, pet sitting, chased me that chased me down the hallway and chased me in the bathroom to where I locked myself in the bathroom to stay away. Yeah, from I have it. too. Yeah. It's scary. Oh yeah, and then We're- when I was a teenager, uh, a cat just showed up at our house. My parents took it in and. I would come home, you know, at 10 o'clock at night, and the cat would be sitting on the porch and would not let me get to the door. And I would have to throw rocks at the window because the cat would chase me and bite me if I walked up to the front door. <laughs> didn't you? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Didn't you say once that a squirrel attacked you, too, while you were on your bike, riding your bike? I was riding my bike, and it was I was riding by a trail, and there was a fence post all along the trail, and a squirrel was sitting on the fence, and I saw it. And as I rode by, it leaped. And it jumped on me and wrapped itself around my ankle. I had shorts on, and it wrapped around my ankle while I was pedaling. And I was trying to shake it off, and the bike was wobbling. And I thought, you know, I was going pretty fast. I was going downhill. I thought, I'm going to fall. And I was trying to shake. I was screaming and trying to shake this squirrel off my leg, and he finally let go. So I've been attacked. I think I would have paid to see that. Yeah, that would have been a good video. Too bad that uh, it doesn't exist. I've been attacked by dogs, cats, squirrels. Yeah. I've been attacked by a goose. Really? Several geese. Yeah. Yeah. My brother had one when we were kids, and and that goose hated me. But my brother thought it was just the sweetest thing in the world, which it was not. (laughs) Um, But but other friends had geese, too. And I, I think they know because I was scared to death of them. And yeah, sure, they, they come know. hissing and honking and flying at you. Yeah. You and- want to know how, how how smart these animals are? Has it? Did anyone see my car in the parking lot this morning? I did, Hal. What the heck happened? It, it, there was so much bird bomb poop on it. I just cleaned it two days ago. You just washed it? I just washed it. And it's all lined up all the way across on both sides, all the way up and down. You got to tell me that the bird didn't know what that what he was doing. Yeah, that I mean, was he targeted. Knew. You parked under a tree. No, these guys really? just flew back and forth over my car. I must have pissed them off or something. I don't know. It's was boy. it like one of those starling uh, mumerations or whatever they're called? It could be. It was. We do Maybe. have some starlings that have been hanging out, and damn, they're they're harassing the cats. They come up to the window and they look in and they <laughs> they start squeaking at the cats. Yeah, but your car was like all over the top, all dripping down the side. That looked like white icing. It actually makes my 1957 Datsun look pretty good. It looked it looked nice. Yes, yeah, it looked it like did. icing. You, back in New Jersey, um, we lived on the river, and the the um, jet skiers would go by, and we would have swans. And the swans, sometimes they would attack, sometimes they wouldn't. And one day I heard this guy screaming, and he's going, get away from me. Get And trying to get away from the swan, he ended up blowing the motor in his jet ski that he just rebuilt. It was a stand-up. I guess there was something underlyingly wrong, too. And the thing pulled his boot off, like his wetsuit boot, and pulled off his boot. I had to help him, um, and 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 it chased him all the way to the um, to the bulkhead um, where we ended up pulling his jet ski jet ski out, and he had to go, um, you know, put it up on shore. But yeah, I mean, and that was vicious. He's and he's going to be what is wrong with these birds? I don't know, but yeah, big bird like that will scare you. We're taking your attack animal stories at one eight six six four zero five eight four zero five. Uh, there's a brand new survey out that talks about the dog attacks and what cities top the list of dog attacks. Lori, what city do you think tops that list? Do you want to take a guess there? Mm, I don't, I, you know, I, I don't know. How about you? Chicago. Nope, nope. See, I would have to say L.A. because I'm so close to L.A. I would think it would be L.A. L.A. is number two. The top city is number one as far as dog attacks uh-huh. and bites. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Houston. Um, Houston. I really? said Houston. Yes. <laughs> you did it is not. Chicago. You did not, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured we'd get an expert on the phone, and we actually have a letter carrier in San Luis Obispo, California. Ramiro DeMarco is joining us. Hi, Ramiro. How are you doing? Good. 
good. How you doing? Very good. Are you out on your uh, route right now? Uh, no, this is actually my day off, so I'm just here enjoying it. Oh, good. Okay. How long have you been working with the Postal Service? Uh, it's been a little over three years now. Fun job? Do you like it? I love my job, yeah. Love my job. Yeah. Love interacting with people, love walking around and being out on the street, enjoying the weather. Yeah, I love my job. Have you run into any dogs that um, have caused you any trouble? Oh, absolutely, yes. Have you been bit? I've been bit once. I've been chased uh, more times than I can count. Is this common, or are you just uh, look really tasty? <laughs> um, it is sort of common. Um, I live on a, uh, well, I work on a college route, so every six to eight months we get different residents, oh. and they don't know the rules. So I deal with that a lot to where other uh, residential areas, they don't deal with it as much because uh, the residents kind of know to keep them away. So when you first see a dog, what what goes through your mind? Do you, do you kind of evaluate the situation? Uh, I immediately evaluate the situation. I, I look at it as whether I am safe to approach the residence before I even approach a gate or a door. I kind of, uh, for lack of a better word, eyeball it to see whether the dog can jump a fence or not. Uh, and then I make my decision from there. If I feel like there are any threats to me, then I just go ahead and kind of walk on the street and skip the house. Our safety sure. comes first. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Hang tight, Ramiro. We're going to take a quick break. It's Animal Radio celebrating the connection with our pets. Seems like we've gone down a weird rabbit hole today. We have our local mailman or mail person, Romero DeMarco, talking with us today and what it's like to be a mailman around aggressive dogs. Do you carry a, uh, uh, like a, what, what is it, mace. mace or any kind of protection? You know, we uh, sort of, uh, we carry a, it was called a dog repellent. Um, so it's not as strong as a mace like uh, a police officer will use, but we do carry something like that. And then we also carry uh, almost like a blow horn uh, that makes a really loud noise and they kind of get um, a little scared about that. So what happened in the actual case where you were bitten? Were you surprised? I was very surprised. I was a new carrier, kind of unaware of it. Um, me, myself, I've always been a dog person, so I just uh, trusted it when I really shouldn't. Um, I gave my back to the dog, and as I was handing the resident his package, uh, I believe the dog just felt threatening, got up from the porch, uh, ran to me, and bit me in the back of my leg, yes. Oof. And it all happened within an instant. I did not hear the dog get up. I did not hear a chain or a collar. Nothing. It happened in an instant. Well, you have a lot of things going against you. The first thing I think of is uniforms. And sometimes dogs <laughs> are frightened of uniforms. And then you're interacting with their owner. And their owners... Absolutely. Yeah. They're, they need. They feel like they need to be protective, I guess, of their owner. Absolutely. Absolutely. What? I mean, you're walking into their home, their residence, where they live and get did in and uh, and mm-hmm. their job their number one job is to protect the, the the owner so i mean you you gotta look at it from their point of view as well that you're stepping into their ground i see that there's a youtube video put together by the postal service on the postal services youtube channel on dog bite prevention what what is that about Yes, yes. There, there was a letter that went out, uh, and then obviously a video that anybody can go on USPS.com and look at. Uh, and it's just, uh, it's just for residents and people to be aware of the daily situations that we go through, and obviously our safety as well. We like to do a, a great job and deliver to you on a daily basis, and we like to eliminate any kind of um, uh, anything that can prevent us from that. Um, so, yeah, if uh, if I may, I do have a few tips. Yeah, we would love to hear those tips. Okay, all right. Um, so, basically, if a carrier is delivering mail or packages to your front door, uh, we would like to ask residents to place their dog in a separate room and close the, uh, the door in that room before you open the front door. Uh, some dogs like to burst through the, through the screen doors or even the plate glass windows to attack the visitors. Um Dog owners should always keep the family pet secure. Also, parents should remind their children or other family members not to take mail directly from the carriers in the presence of a family pet. Um, as a dog may view the person handling the mail to a family member as a threatening gesture. Yeah. Uh, we see that a lot. Um, 
<laughs> also, that the post office places uh, the safety of the employees as a top priority. Yeah. Um, and if at uh, any moment we feel threatened by a dog or if a dog is loose or unleashed, the owner may be asked to pick up the mail at a post office until the carrier is assured that the dog has been restrained. Um, and also, if a dog is roaming the neighborhood, meaning if the dog is loose and is going into other people's yards, um, it, the owner's neighbors also may be asked to pick up the the mail at the uh, local post office as well, just because we feel wow. that as a threat. Mm. Go ahead. I've been chased all the way back to my mail truck until I actually got in and they went away, but it's happened to me. Yeah. Now you keep. Yeah, and, and you don't see them coming either, you know. <laughs> you keep talking about dogs. Have you been threatened by any other animals, maybe even a cat? I uh, believe it or not, I've seen a snake uh, wrapped around a mailbox. <laughs> I've seen uh, plenty of spiders. I've been stung by wasps. Obviously, they're not family pets. Oh. Uh, but I've been chased by cats. I've been chased by dogs. Yes. The cats will really chase you? You know, they, uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And I just do not trust them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I got to salute you because you, you, while you do have a fun job, at times it can be harrowing and you do put up with a lot of crap, too. And I, I uh, We put up with our share, but we absolutely love our job and we take a lot of pride in it. <laughs> You're awesome. Thanks for spending time with us today. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having us. Uh, there's Carrier Romero DeMarco joining us here on Animal Radio. You know, I had a tip for my mailman, you yeah. know. Just in case they seen the dog, I said, "If you see my dog, um, you know what you do." He said, "What?" I said, "Run like hell." <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Animal Radio. Visit us at animalradio.com or download the Animal Radio app for iPhone and Android.